Welcome to the Magnitude Software website. This video will explain how to navigate around the Magnitude Software support community, which you can access by visiting magnitudesoftware.force.com forward slash support. As an active support contact, you can view your company's account information, including support level and status, search knowledge base or KB articles, create, update and view support incidents, and connect to the appropriate software download website. Please note that not all contacts have access to all the features described in this video. Some features are dependent on your purchase products and account permissions. New contacts receive an email from Salesforce with their username and a link to set their password. Upon login, you are presented with the Accounts tab. The first time you enter this tab, you need to select All Accounts under the View Lookup and click Go. You will then see a list of all accounts you have access to based on your account's permissions. Some users may see multiple accounts. Select an account to view its details. You are then presented with the selected account support level, support status and number of allowed support contacts. As you can see, you can also view all contacts and incidents associated with this particular account. Click Show More or Go to List if you'd like to expand either subsections. You can then sort the list by column headings. In a few moments, I will show you the Incidents tab, where there are views that will make viewing incidents easier. Back on the main account page, under the Incidents subsection, notice the New Incident button. I will cover this in more detail shortly when we look at the Incidents tab. It is worth noting that all fields with orange circles containing question marks have associated help text. If you are unsure about a particular field, simply hover your cursor over a circle to view its text. Next up is the Knowledge tab. Click on this to access How To, Bug and Informational Articles to help troubleshoot issues or answer any software related questions you may have. You can search for articles by keyword or phrase apply optional filters or sort the results. If you are looking for a specific product brand, be sure to use the products filter to select the brand. Once you find the appropriate article, you can click on it for more information. You can use the quick links on the left hand side to jump to the section of interest. Clicking the show properties link reveals more information such as the article number, summary and dates. If you would like to reference an article in a new incident, note down the article number. I will show you how to do this later on in the video. To return to the article search results, click on Back to Knowledge Search. The Incidents tab displays all incidents associated with your company account and login. Use the views to quickly switch between your and other company employees' incidents. When you log in for the first time, you won't see any incidents until you select a view. You can change views at any time and click the refresh button to regenerate the view. You can also sort the list of incidents by column heading. There are several different ways to create new incidents. One way is to click the New Incident button here. You'll then be asked to select the product brand pertaining to your incident. Click Continue and you'll notice several fields with red lines next to them. These are mandatory fields and so you cannot submit the incident without populating them. It is equally important to populate as many fields as possible before submitting the incident so that the Magnitude support team have as much information as possible about your issue. The first section pertains to contact information. Here you can enter your project name and a reference where applicable. The CC list field is for copying other employees in on the incident comments. You can enter email addresses here, separated by commas, and all new incident comments will be emailed to these addresses too. The account name field will be populated automatically upon submitting the incident. Under product information, after you select the product name, you are mandated to select its version, the product component in question, and finally the incident area. Once you have completed this form, simply click the Submit button. We've discussed how to create new incidents, now let's look at how to view and update them. Back in the Incidents tab, simply select an incident from the available list to view its details. 
Here, you can see all the fields we saw in the new incident form, along with some extra fields which tell us the incident's status and who in support is working on it. To update the incident, simply click Add Comment, enter your text and click Save. The support team will then be notified of your comment and will reply accordingly. Earlier, I mentioned that knowledge base articles can be added to incidents. To add one, scroll down to the Articles section, click Find Articles, search for the article or enter the article number and press Enter to search. To add the article to the incident, click on the arrow to the left of the article name and click Attach to Incident. Finally, you can add attachments such as log files or screenshots to your incident by clicking the Attach File button here. Please note that there is a file size limit of 25 megabytes. If you would like to upload larger files, please contact Magnitude Support for assistance. A couple of items I wanted to mention. At the top of the Incidents tab, there are quick links which you can use to navigate to the corresponding section of the page. If you hover over these links, you can even perform the action that you would otherwise have to scroll down to do. For example, add a new comment. The last of the four tabs is Software Download. Each product brand has a separate software download portal. Simply click the appropriate link to access the software library corresponding to your product brand. Note that not all contacts have access to this tab. Please contact Magnitude Support for more information. One last thing to mention. There is a side panel available, which if expanded lets you connect to your profile and access your messages and alerts, as well as recently viewed incidents. Simply hover over the incident number for more details before selecting it. To change your community's account password, click on My Profile and click on the Change My Password button. Finally, if you click on your name in the top right corner, you'll see My Settings and Logout. If you select My Settings, you can change your locale settings and password. This concludes our video on how to navigate around and use the community support site. We hope you found it useful. Should you have any questions, please contact Magnitude Software Support. Remember to bookmark the community's URL for easy access in the future.